coming from repeat and referral business, from their personal circle, from their sphere of influence. How many of you would like to get more business from people that you already know? Everybody, that's pretty much everybody. Okay. So I want to talk to you today about how you can generate more business from the people you know. Because guys, watch this. We're in a market now where do people sell if they don't have to sell right now? No. No, no virtually people aren't selling because they want to, you know, they're going to make a killing. That's not happening anymore. So the people that are selling are people that need to sell. Are there fewer buyers out there right now than there were back in the five years ago? Yeah. Absolutely. So if you've got people that you know and they are buying or selling or they know somebody are buying or selling, is that a valuable relationship to have? Yeah. Yes? Everybody say yes. 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 Okay. So what do you got to do? You've got to protect and build and nurture that relationship. So if everybody could get more business from every client that you have, if you knew what to say and how to say it, is everybody up for learning a better way to get more business from people that you yeah. know? Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to teach you a very simple and yet powerful strategy for how you can get more business from clients that you are working with right now. Now, how many of you have ever thought or heard somebody say, well, I'm not asking for any, I'm not going to ask them for any referrals or ask them to refer anybody to to me until after we close because I want to prove to them how good I can do. How many have ever heard that or thought that? Okay, some of you have heard that, some of you have thought that, right? That, well, I don't want to ask them up front because I haven't proved myself yet. Okay? What a better time to let them know your plan is to prove yourself. Right? When is the time when a buyer or seller is thinking more about buying and selling real estate than when they're actually buying and selling real estate? Never. I mean, that's when they're thinking about it, right? And have you noticed when you're focused on doing something, how many other people you run into who are doing the same thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're when you're out looking at cars, have you noticed how many cars like the one you're looking at all of a sudden show up on the road? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Have you? And whenever if if you're getting married, have you noticed how many bridal shows or there are? And if you're having if somebody's pregnant, you notice that all of a sudden you see all these pregnant people around. I mean, it's just <laughs> whenever you're thinking about something. Whenever you're thinking about something, it's amazing how it just seems to appear. So what a better time to have a client, to have somebody that you're working with looking for buyers and sellers to refer to you than when they're actually buying and selling. Does this make sense to everybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want everybody, on the top of your piece of paper, I want you to write down this formula. One equals five. One equals five. Now, if every client that you work with, if if you knew what to say and how to say it, would you be okay if that one client led you to five additional deals in the next two years? Would that be okay with everybody? So why not ask them to help you do that? So here's basically the strategy, and I'm going to pass this out to everybody, the actual script that you can use to do this. But I want to just kind of go over with you why this is so important and how this will help your business. And I just wrote down... Um, five reasons that you should do this one equals five with everyone of your clients. Okay, so I want everybody to write this down. Okay, number one, it builds credibility in you. It builds credibility in you. Now, when you do this, is at the end of a listing presentation, as soon as you've got the listing, when you're signing the paperwork, or at the end of a buyer consultation when you're signing the buyer broker agreement or when they've agreed to work with you and you're getting ready to actually go start going and show them properties. Before you actually go out at the end of the buyer consultation or before you leave after you've taken the listing is always do this one equals five. And let them know, here's, what I, here's, here's my goal. My goal is to do such a great job for you that over the next two, two or three years you will refer me to five people that you know they're looking at buying or selling a house. Does that make sense? Now, if you let them know that's your expectation and that's what you want, what does that do? Well, number one, it builds credibility in you because it lets them know that you plan to stay in business. Right? So how many people are you expecting? Five. Five deals in the next two years. In the next two years? In the next two years. Out of one. Okay, out of one, every one client that I'm working with, I expect them over the next two years to, to, to bring me five deals. Okay, and I'll show you how to, how to say this. But if you do that, do you understand the credibility it gives you when you, it lets them know what your plan is? Because if I want you to give me five leads, what kind of service do you think I'm going to give you? Optimal. Right? 
You're going to get great service. You're going to have optimal service. Why? Because are you going to? Are they going to refer to somebody to you if you're a jerk? If you don't ever return phone calls, you know, if you don't do what you say you're going to do, so it gives you credibility to them because they're like, well, okay, I'm watching. I'm paying attention now. If I'm going to give you five referrals, you better work hard for me. And it lets them know that's your plan. Okay. So I wrote down that number two is it builds confidence between you and your client. It builds confidence between you and your client. <clears throat> it makes them more confident in you and it lets them know that you're planning on a long-term relationship. Number three, obviously it builds a referral base that grows each year. It builds a referral base that grows each year. Number four, it builds client loyalty. It builds client loyalty between you and your client. Okay, does it, does it let them know you're going to be loyal to them, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Is it asking them to be loyal to you? Yes. Absolutely. And so you're letting them, you're creating the expectation. You're creating the relationship by letting them know how you want to work with them. I want to do such a great job for you that every time you know somebody that's looking at buying or selling a house, you think of me. And you're going to call me and refer them to me. That's the kind of job I want to do for you. And then I wrote down number five, it motivates you to give better service to your client. It motivates you to give better service to your client. So watch this, guys. Here's basically what you do. You're at the end of the listing presentation. You're signed the, signing the listing paperwork, and you're getting all that finished, and you say, now, guys, before I go, there's one more thing I need to ask you guys to help me with. Okay? And then you take out a blank piece of paper, and real big on it, you just write 1 equals 5. And just write it on a piece of paper there in front of them. And let them look at it. Okay? Now let me just look at it for a second. Okay, now what are you going to do if you're looking at this? When I wrote that on the board, what are you looking at? What are you thinking? What does that mean? What does that mean? What is, how does 1 equals 5? And so you basically let them know, my goal, to, starting tonight, is to be your real estate agent for life. Okay, because I know this, you guys are, you know, if, on average, you're going to buy or sell a house every 5 to 7 years. So every 5 to 7 years, you and I are going to be working together. Okay? So my goal is to do such a great job for you, not only that whenever you get ready to buy or sell a house that you'll call me, but that anytime you know anybody else that's looking at buying or selling a house, you'll think of me. Okay? And so my goal is that over the next two years, I want to do such a great job for you, that over the next two years, you'll refer me to five people that you know that need a great agent to help them either buy or sell a house. Now, you do want that kind of service that will make you want to refer me, right? Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so you ask them questions with that. So my commitment is to give you such great service that over the next year or two, you'll refer me to five people you know that I can help. Does that sound great? And they'll say, yes. absolutely, it sounds great. So, now what's this? I'm just going to give you a couple of, here's some things you need to tell them. If at any time during our relationship, I'm not giving you the kind of service that, that I'm not giving you the kind of service that you can refer five people to me, please let me know immediately so that I can fix it. It's my objective to exceed your expectations. Okay? Is that, are you okay? Are you guys okay with that kind of service? Absolutely. So, who's one person you know right now? that's actually looking at buying or selling a house that I can help. Now, what did you just do in their brain? Plant the seed. I planted the seed. Who did you, what did you put on their radar? You're looking for buyers and sellers for you. Does that make sense? So I start training them right up front to be my eyes and ears, to be my word of mouth marketing, so that anytime they run across somebody, they're like, wow. I need to call Abby. That's their thought. Okay? And then you train them how to do that. But right here at the beginning, you set the expectation, you raise the bar, and I guarantee you, if you follow through with the, what you're supposed to do with people that you know, you will get more business from your 
clients than you've ever had before. Any questions? Go ahead. I was just going to say, when I took the Fusion listing, um, when I take listings now, I ask the seller, do you know anybody who might be interested in buying your home? And they're the best source of leads because they live there and they, they're excited about their home and they're wanting to sell. And I said, if you're comfortable, I can email them or you can pass my information on. I tried to get their contact information, but my client wasn't comfortable giving out any contact information. But he asked me to write a letter and he was going to forward it. And I got a call yesterday from the pastor of a local church because he got the email from the client. So now the client's actually regenerating for me for buyers. And um, it's the second call that I got, actually. Yesterday I, I got the second call. The first call was someone who wasn't so qualified. But um, the seller was so excited to do that. You, you'd be surprised. You think you're bothering them, but then they look at it as like, wow, you really want to give me ideas on how to you know, get this sold. So, I mean, don't be shy about asking them because it takes a village these days. Mm -hmm. and they're putting you in touch with their friends. So you're getting a warm introduction, and uh, it's like one of the best opportunities, especially when they're first listed and they're excited and they're going on the market and you're working hard and you're staging and doing all this. Yep. So. Guys, people, here's the reality. <clears throat> people like to help people they like. Yep. And if they like you, they expect you to help them, they like to help you in your business. Okay. So treat them that way, and you will get more business from them than you've ever gotten before. All right? Guys, make it a great day at 11 o'clock. We've got Mets class.